Hi there and welcome to the first edition of 2015's BLK Queensland Premier Rugby Wrap, the only place where you'll find the best action and achievements from the latest round of Queensland Premier Rugby. My name's Courtney Barker and I'm looking forward to spending the season with you. There's been plenty of action from round one, so let's get started. First up, it was the battle of the students at Stade de Heavy. A tough game for Bond having to play the 2014 Premiers in round one, but the tight score showed that Bond is set to cause some upsets this season. The Red Heavy front row were the point of difference in a physical contest where the quality of clean ball for both teams were affected by the afternoon heat. Bond and Queensland Country NRC hooker Tonga Mafu contributed to a scrummaging penalty try and scored a try of his own. The influence of Bond's back row trio at the breakdown forged the way for the visiting side, setting a platform for outside backs Jamie Evans and Sam Cox to score a try apiece. Red Heavy's fly half Ed Gibson's perfect goal kicking display proved the difference between the two unis, sealing the deal for UQ. Final score Red Heavy's 21, Bond 18. North led in two early tries and gave the Tigers an early kickstart at their home ground of Hugh Courtney Oval. The last 60 minutes were even for both teams, although both looking a little rusty. But tries to Norse Satui and Mailers and a strong performance from new recruit Taj Maletta weren't enough for the home side against East's outfit boosted by the presence of national rugby championship representatives with the likes of Andrew Reddy and Patoa Poraka. Although Norse didn't get the win on the day, they'll carry confidence to next Saturday's game. Final score Norse 15, East 26. Spectators at the Kennel were treated to an epic 10 try performance on Saturday. The Brethren went into the sheds holding a substantial 34 to 10 lead that was reduced to 37-31 with just minutes to go. A long range intercept try by Mitchell Felsman in the dying stages wrapped up the game with a win for the brothers, giving Felsman a hat trick. Sam Green proved to be the difference for brothers with eight from eight, giving him 19 individual points from the boot. The Bulldogs work hard to get back in the game, but brothers proving to be too good on the day. Final score, Brothers 44, West 31. The Dragons took to the field in a special edition charity jersey for the MND and Me Foundation. Playing jerseys are available for auction and replicas for purchase, with all proceeds going to the MND and Me Foundation. Head to sunnybankrugby.com.au for more information. The Dragons breathed fire down the Magpies in the first half, outscoring them four tries to one. The Dragons had strong support from the sideline with past and present Dragons celebrating Old Boys Day. South fought their way back in the second half despite facing staunch defence from the Dragons, overcoming the loss of possession on five consecutive trips inside Sunnybank's 22 to score two tries late in the half. Final score Sunnybank 28, South 19. Congratulations to this year's first Masashi High performer, halfback Sean O'Connor from Sunnybank. Well done Sean, enjoy your Masashi prize pack. Looking ahead to the matches in round two of BLK Queensland Premier Rugby, Bond will host South at Rabina, Norse will face University at Hugh Courtney Oval, Sunnybank will take on West at home, and GPS will head to Tigerland to take on East at David Wilson Field for the game of the round and a replay of the 2013 Queensland Premier Rugby Grand Final. Well, that's full time here for the BLK Queensland Premier Rugby Wrap. My name's Courtney Barker, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. Make sure you head down to your local Premier Rugby Club on Saturday to check out the stars of tomorrow today.